Hey everyone, Chelsea here from So Simple Home. Today our project is a holiday project. We're going to make these fun mini stockings. Um, they're super easy. They're great for treats and uh, candy canes. You could use them to make an advent calendar. There's so many options. Um, but I think in the end you're really going to love this project. It's really fast. Okay, the first thing you need is to get the pattern. The link is in the description. There's two pieces to it, the mini stocking and then the cuff for the stocking. And then you need to pick out your materials. And I'm gonna use the same materials I use for this stocking, but I'm gonna flip them. So we're going to do the stocking in this fun red. And I'm just gonna trim a chunk of my material off here. So you're going to need your stocking, you're going to cut two of your stocking mirror images so that you have a front stocking and a back stocking, right? Um, like I said before, this pattern is fairly lightweight, um, so you can fill it up really well, but if you would prefer that your project have a little bit more um, be a little bit more sturdy. You can use interfacing on it as well if that would make you feel better. You can add a little bit of interfacing and that will stiffen up the stocking and give it a little bit more stability and a little more um, a sturdier shape. But that's totally up to you. I am personally am not using interfacing. I don't feel like that is necessary. Um, because these mini stockings I'll be using for like little treat bags. So I don't need to do a whole lot with it. Okay, and then for my cuff, I'm just going to cut one. Um, and it's this cuff is about seven inches um, long. So I'm just cutting this on the fold here, sort of. Okay, so I've got my cute little cuff with the wreaths on it, and I got my cute little stocking, my two pieces here. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to, hang on one second, I'm going to press, this guy's got a little bit of a crease in him, and I don't want that. I might as well press this guy while we're at it, just make sure we got some creases out. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the two stocking pieces right sides together and I'm going to stitch around the stocking leaving the top open. I don't want the top closed and I'm stitching at a quarter of an inch so I'm just lining up at the edge of my presser foot and going around. Now go slow when you go around those corners, I mean those curved edges because you want those curved edges to be really nice and curvy so that it looks like a stocking when we turn it right side out. Okay. Pull my pad over here so I can iron it. All right, so, so far so good. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and I really want those nice curved edges. So I want the curve of the toe and the heel I want those curves. To get that, I'm going to clip my fabric. So what that means is I'm going to come in and go with my scissors and clip to my thread that I've sewn but not through it all around those curves. And I'm going to go about every half inch or so. You could go an inch. If this was a bigger stocking, I probably wouldn't clip it as close. When you get to really curvy spots, you can add a few more clips a little closer together. But these clips are going to make it so that this material can bend a little bit more. Do you see that? As I pull it, it kind of gives it a little stretch, a little bend. So when I turn this inside out, or right side out, excuse me, um, these curves will be really curvy. All right, so that means I'm ready. I've got my clips done. I'm ready to turn my stocking 
right side out. Now, right now it looks a little wonky, right? I always like to use like a, the end of a paintbrush, a wooden dowel. You could use uh, the, pen, the eraser side of a pencil, but you're gonna come in here right up to the toe and you're gonna use your paintbrush or dowel and you're gonna kind of follow along the seam that you've just sewn with that paintbrush and you're gonna push that seam out. See how I've kind of pushed that seam out? to give it those curved edges. Look how nice that looks. Look at those curves on that cute little stocking. That looks so good. Okay, so that's the secret of getting those curves. Now, if you don't like it, if you feel like you're missing a curve or something, you can always turn it right side or wrong side out and clip a little bit more. You don't wanna overdo it on the clipping, but that can make a little bit of a difference. So there's my stocking base. How cute is that? I really like that. Now we're gonna do the cuff, and this is easy. So this is a seven inch piece by two and a half inches, three inches, I lied, by three inches. I'm gonna fold it in half matching my two uh, short sides, and I'm gonna stitch at a quarter of an inch along the short sides making sure I back stitch at the beginning and end. That's important. I'm gonna press. It's always good to press your stitching that you make because it kind of sets it into the fabric. All right, now here's my cuff, but I want it to actually look more like this, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to fold it in half so that the raw edges on the, the longer side meet. So I make it into this little cuff. You see how I did that? Okay, there's my cuff. Okay, so it's gonna go in my stocking. Okay, okay. So I'm ready to put my cuff on. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm actually just going to slide it inside of my stocking, and kind of work it down until it lines up, the top raw edge lines up. And I wanna make sure all three layers line up so we don't end up with like a whole where our stocking should be. Okay. There we go. Should be about right. That's kind of what it looks like. Kind of silly looking, but that's what it looks like. Okay, now I'm gonna stitch this. Now this is the tricky part. To get this on the machine, you're gonna to have to open it up like this and then put it under your presser foot and you're stitching a quarter of an inch. That's it. It's a small seam. Okay, and as you stitch, you're gonna pull your pins and kind of unfold the stocking, making sure that this top layer doesn't accidentally get stuck in the needle because I've been there, done that. It's not fun. So it's a slow process because you wanna make sure your stitching comes out really nice that you don't have any random little pucks or any issues. All right, we got all the way around. Trim my threads here. Okay, now at this point, if you want, you could take some pinking shears and you can cut through not through, but you can trim, I guess we would say, the, the raw edge, that's a thick edge right there, with your pinking shears, and that would just kind of be your seam finish. Nobody's gonna see this because when we turn the cuff, but that just helps it so it doesn't fray over time. All right, now we're just gonna pull the cuff out like so. See how that is? 
get our cuff out. If we have any stray threads or whatever, we th pull them. And then we turn our cuff down. Turn it down just enough so that the top of the stocking and the cuff are together. See that? Now, if this was a regular stocking, we might have lined the inside of the stocking. But since it's just a fun little mini stocking that's more for treats or whatever, it's not necessary that we line it, but you could definitely go in and, and line yours if you feel more comfortable doing that. And you want it, nobody to see the, the raw or the wrong side of the material. All right, last thing is we add our ribbon. And I like to do it like this and match the bottom. And then I'm gonna pin it right inside here. You see that? And then I'm just going to stitch it in. Right across. Through all the layers. And you could rib use ribbon, you could use twine, you could use a piece of fabric. You know, you can use lots of different things for that. Okay, and there's my, got a stray thread here right now. Don't want all these little threads poking through. There we go. Okay, there's my, my ribbon on the top. There we go. And there's my stocking. Aren't they cute? How easy was that? And then you can fill them. I've got these mints here. You just fill them with a ton of mints. You could add a peppermint. Um, if you have like a small toy, I have these fun little chapstick holders that we made earlier in the year. They'd fit a small gift like that. Or you could just put the actual chapstick. This could be a gift for a friend where you fill it up with something like mini scissors and um, like a seam ripper. That would make a fun little gift if I can get my seam ripper in there. Right, and it would hang up. Anyway, just thought, you know, what a fun way to celebrate each other, celebrate our friends and family, and give special treats during the holidays. I hope you like this tutorial. Let me know if you have questions or in the comments and we'll see you next time.